a little bit easier task this time. This is what you could call a drive shaft, but it's really a coupler. And the way the dragster is set up is the rear end is in direct line with the output of the uh, transmission. There's no universals, there's couplers. And I'll show you that when I get into the um, putting it in. But the change we're going to make here is right now there is only one locking ring on each end. And we had an incident at the second to the last race at Gateway where one of these let go and the coupler came flying out and ended up going through the cowl on the, on the dragster. The driver was uh, very lucky. It did touch his leg, but it didn't do any real damage. Got a pretty good bruise. I'll show some pictures. So we're going to double up. We're going to put uh, two on each one. And these are strange parts. want to do is that allen nut is up so we're going to turn this one so this allen is up so that they'll balance each other okay and then we'll do the same thing on this end that one's up like that okay Let's put it in the car. Let's put this coupler in with the new improvement in it. All right. This thing goes down in here. You want about an eighth inch slot in this drive shaft so that when you launch, this actually moves back a little bit. You don't want to blow any seals out. So you need about an eighth of an inch. And I see a problem. And the problem is, is I only have an inch of spline sticking out of the back of this coupler. So I'll, I can only get one on there. Can't get the second one on there because I have to have an eighth inch of slop. So that means I have to move this forward an eighth inch like that. I have no spline there at all. Got lots of spline here. That's where that comes off. Let's go see if I could take some off here. If I took some off there, because you know, what I need to do is slide this further back. If I slide that further back, that's all right, I can do that. I need to cut some off the end there so that this can slide further back in. So how much do I have sticking out here? If we put that like that, how much? Oh, I got a lot sticking out. So I could, I could cut some off the back here, have the whole thing slide back far enough where I can put the second one in. That's what I'm gonna have to do. So here we go. We're gonna cut the drive shaft. What we need is uh, one thickness of a collar so that I can put two up here. So I'm told that this is metal that can be cut. It's tough. But it can be done. So we want to cut off one thickness. And I'll put this on here in case I had to cut in two different directions. That way I've got it marked. And here we go. Um, let's see the glass. 
So here we go. Well, it's shorter. Let's uh, dress those up. Bring the coupler down. I'll go get the coupler. All right. All right, let's go put it in. I couldn't leave well enough alone, so I cleaned up the end of it. So now it looks really nice. Make sure it still fits. Perfect. Now let's go put it in. We have cut one collar thickness off the back of this drive shaft. Now, the reason we can do that is Put it in the right way. When we stick this in here like this, and we stick this in here like that, like that, and we slide this all the way to the rear. Now we're going to have two collar lengths here, and let me show you what happens. If I put two collar lengths there, Two collar, link, two collar links here, and still have shafts sticking out the back here. Now, if we go to the back here, the way this is, is this is sitting like that. Two collar links here, but notice that it's recessed there. And that's because the pinion bolt comes out, and it's gonna hit right there. So what we're gonna do is put this thing in, Set that collar all the way in the back, slide this back. Now the dry shaft is sitting up against the nut that's inside there, and this is buried as deep into this thing as it can go. We'll slide this collar all the way forward. Now it's tight. And then we'll slide this back an eighth of an inch or so. So now that there's give in the dry shaft, should this motor shift to the rear. I have enough room to put two collars here, and I have enough room to put two collars there. So let's do that. So the first thing we do is slide that all the way back like that. And we'll put this first one right here. And we're gonna have to tap that on. So now, we want that all the way like that, all the way like that. And then we're gonna take this one and put it just like that. So it's 180, so this is 180 from that. And that's good, we'll snug that up. So that's snug. Now, Now 
we're going to slide this one back an eighth of an inch so that we have some slop. And snug that one down. Now what we got is about an eighth of an inch slot between the two. This thing is buried as far in there as it'll go and hit the, the nut. And this is still gonna have some sticking out, so we're in good shape. Okay, so we got the coupler in. Now, next. This is what protects me in case this dry shaft lets go. So that goes up there like that. This piece goes in here like this. Like so. And now we slide these even. Okay, there's a sensor down here, a mag magnet and a pickup that measures dry shaft speed, and I gotta make sure that's clear, and it is. air bottle is used to shift. When we're ready, this airline gets fastened to this bottle here. And this bottle provides air pressure to the cylinder on the shifter. And that causes the vehicle to shift from first to second. Now by that I mean, I have a button here on the steering column that I push that causes the vehicle to shift from first to second. The vehicle doesn't shift by itself, I cause it to shift. So there's no automatic timer in here for the shift. They either on RPM or time or anything else, it's driver activated. So, that completes this part of this dragster. We're actually starting to make a little progress for it. That's exciting. Um, if you enjoyed the video, you found it informative, would like to see more, click the like in the lower right hand corner. Right next to it is a bell. If you click that bell, uh, when I post a new video, you'll get a notification. You can spend another 20 minutes of your life watching a video. So, thank you very much. Have a good day. Next thing is, uh, I think I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and do the electrical work. That's next. Thank you.